<laughs> Hello, it's Wednesday. Oh my gosh, how does it get to be Wednesday already? Uh, first, I should say, I'm pretty sure my computer is acting very strangely and that the picture and the words may not be in sync. I hope that it is. If not, I encourage and invite you to look away and just listen. I want to explore something really important today. I just got done reading a deep dive into articles and TED Talks and all kinds of things talking about how important it is to find meaning and purpose in what we're doing. And a lot of what I was listening to had to do with the job force and you know the working world. And I realized that many people who are watching this are involved in work and many are already retired or not working. So I really wanted to apply this to whatever world you are living in right now. And I really wanna think about for a minute, can we use laughter to help us find purpose and meaning in our lives. Well, don't worry, we're going to get to some laughter, but I really want to talk about this for a few minutes because I think it's so important. I found myself listening to the TED Talk and reading the articles and asking myself the question. Of course, my go-to is to think that laughter can certainly help create a more positive culture. And in fact, the article that triggered my thinking about this was an article explaining how negativity you just like you get second head second hand smoke you can get second hand second hand negativity and that if people are around you that are negative you're 25 percent more likely to pick up on that negativity even so much as when you first start a conversation if you say something whatever you say first is much more likely to influence the outcome. And so instead of saying, oh, I'm so frustrated, if you say, it's great to be here. Well, I've just created that. Now, for me, all of this comes back to mindfulness all the time. Our intention, what we're doing on purpose, what we do on purpose, and even if we just explore that word, on purpose, purposeful, playful laughter. I'm doing it on purpose because I have a purpose. If my purpose is sharing laughter, what's your purpose for wanting it? What's your purpose for engaging with me in the first place? Well, I believe that the purpose has to do with wanting to feel good. The meaningfulness is a second thing that we'll talk about, but I think the purpose is to access better health, to be at our best. And if the research indicates from what I just read, we function at our best, we're more productive at work, we live longer, we are feeling happier when we have a purpose and we find meaning in what we're doing, then it seems to me that if laughing on purpose makes us feel good, then we can more actively, purposefully attend to whatever it is that gives our life meaning. Now I know this is kind of heady stuff. Um, and so we will get into some laughter, but I wanna, I'm gonna keep exploring this because of course I think and believe with all my heart and all of the feedback that I've gotten from people that adding laughter to your life on purpose changes your life. And I know it's changed my life. Has it given it more meaning? If I weren't doing it as a business and if I weren't, you know, if it weren't my main focus, has the laughter given more meaning to my life? Has it given me more purpose? Well, it has given me the purpose of wanting to share the positivity with more people, but I'm still struggling on the meaning part. So let's just do some laughter. And with this in the back of our minds, let's explore it. And if you have any thoughts, if you take the time to listen in today, I would love to hear your thoughts and, and start a conversation. So thanks for listening. And let's go ahead and on purpose, put some laughter into our lives, hoping that the meaning will become clear as we do it. So I think in light of what we're talking about, 
I just want to put a lot of positivity out there and I'm going to ask us to just laugh for a while. I don't know. I'm going to keep track of the time, but I'm not timing it in the same way that I say we're going to laugh for 30 seconds or laugh for a minute. We're going to just laugh for a while. And I invite you to laugh right along with me and just, you know, breathe when you need to and make different laughter sounds and use your imagination. But let's look and see what we find. OK, I'm calling up joy in my life and I'm letting it come out and sharing it with the world. OK, and this is also with gratitude to Jody Spagar, who um, posted the article that led me down this rabbit hole and got me really started thinking. And also to um, Alexi Robichau, I don't know if I'm saying it right. He is the CEO and co-founder of betterup.com. And that led me down another rabbit hole. And also to Adam Fillery uh, from the UK, who really started my day with an incredibly exciting conversation. And so <laughs> let's go ahead and just thanks to all those people. And let's just try to do some laughter. So no specific time. We're just going to laugh and see where it takes us. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no timer just however long you want to laugh <laughs> you can think of something funny if you need to <laughs> think of the last time you laughed <laughs> there was that other time <laughs> or just feel the joy and let it bubble up <laughs> joyful that I get to just be here and do this. <laughs> it's the focus of my day to share healthy laughter every single day. <laughs> what could be better than that? <laughs> what could be more meaningful than putting that out there in the world? Please accept it. <laughs> I'm not sure my life's purpose. <laughs> But I know I feel good when I share laughter. <laughs> and if along the way it can transform someone's day or someone's life, oh my gosh, what a gift. <laughs> At a time when people are feeling so out of the ordinary, discombobulated, tired, worn out, and yet they want a glimmer of hope, they want a glimmer of positivity. Let's give that to ourselves. <laughs> Let's just feel good. <laughs> Let's hug ourselves with a good laugh. <laughs> Felt laughter. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? I'm really not sure. <laughs> What's the meaning of this for you? <laughs> I can imagine somebody writing, You are nuts. <laughs> But conversely, I can I can ha imagine someone saying, oh, my God, this changed my day. <laughs> and that's what it's about. <laughs> Letting each person discover for themselves <laughs> what works, what doesn't. If I can help it work for you, I'm so happy. <laughs> goodness. <laughs> if you're a person who needs some needs some outside outside triggers, then think about a baby video. <laughs> One of my favorite ones is a little baby tearing a piece of paper. 
the father, I think, is tearing the paper, and every time it starts to tear, <laughs> the baby is fascinated. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> We're starting with the big piece. <laughs> just letting the pieces fall on the floor. <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> it's getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Someone's going to have to clean up that mess. <laughs> it's a good thing it's imaginary. <laughs> no one has to know. <laughs> no one has to come out to us and pick it up. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I think one of the things that you can do to combat the negativity from other people is to write about positive things and write about gratitude so let's do that <laughs> what are you grateful for <laughs> This opportunity to share laughter with you. <laughs> chocolate. I'm definitely grateful for chocolate. <laughs> what are some positive things you can think of? <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> Being outside and feeling energized by green. <laughs> All the really cool people I've been talking to lately. <laughs> the opportunity to learn new things. <laughs> what makes you feel positive? Write it in the chat. <laughs> I need to give a shout out to Josh Kaufman, who just has changed my life by his generosity of spirit and how much he gives just just to try to help someone else. It's just a, a really great thing. I hope that I can be that for other people. <laughs> I got to say, voila, it's so great to see you, chocolate. Yes. <laughs> and I was just about to say, seeing the little one right by the eye of the Facebook Live, knowing that someone else is there, even before, before you identify that you're there, just seeing that one, oh, it just makes my heart feel so good. <laughs> It's because we are all looking for connection and when we can look at somebody else's name and know that there's a person out there in the universe, maybe far away, but close up because now we're sharing an experience. We're sharing some moments and we're sharing laughter. <laughs> and on Thursday, we're gonna share chocolate. <laughs> How can it get better than that? You connect with a stranger from far away with laughter and then you put chocolate on top. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm just filled with overflowing. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here, <laughs> for sharing your laughter with me. <laughs> for coming with me on this journey of self-discovery. I'm discovering myself, passing along what I'm discovering and hope that you when it doesn't we're glad it's there <laughs> all the options except sometimes there are too many options but we're still grateful that there are options <laughs> like options of what kind of chocolate to eat <laughs> what job would you like since you lost one <laughs> what's what's available <laughs> see how you can twist it around instead of focusing on the i lost my job what new opportunities are out there for me yay <laughs> Let's look. <laughs> How about meeting a new friend? <laughs> Just sharing a smile with a stranger in the store. <laughs> and taking stock of ourself, taking time to look inside and find what fuels me, what gives my life purpose, 
what gives my life meaning? Let me think about that. <laughs> it's a little daunting. It's a little overwhelming, but I invite all of us to think about it because I think when we explore it together with someone else, oh my gosh, it just opens up even more possibilities. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. The verdict is out. <laughs> I know that for me, adding laughter to every day and sharing it in this way adds a great deal of purpose to my day. Every day, this is the thing that grounds me. It adds meaning to my life because I believe that sharing it is important and that it has added value to other people's lives. So for me, I'm going to say that sharing laughter does add meaning and purpose to my day. But please tell me what it does for you. I need to know, is laughter, just sharing laughter, is it adding to your day? Is it adding purpose and meaning? In a broader perspective, I'm not asking about what I do. I'm asking laughter in general. When you add laughter to your life, does it give your life any more meaning or purpose? And I wanna explore that. So please share with me your thoughts. And thanks so much for being here. We're gonna end with a few more laughs. <laughs> this conversation for sure will be continued. <laughs> Tomorrow we will be investigating chocolate and speaking of purpose and meaning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's chocolate Thursday tomorrow, so we'll be exploring it from that vantage point. Thanks so much for sharing your laughter with me, for allowing me to share my laughter with you. <laughs> and thanks for the conversation. Have a wonderful day. I hope that you know you always have a giggle in your pocket. You can find me here every day at one o'clock. And your joy is part of my journey and my joy. So thanks. <laughs>